Are Teslas good in winter conditions? Today I'm gonna to keep this a short video because frankly this question comes up a lot so I figured I'm gonna kinda of make a quick little video so I explain to you guys about Teslas and winter conditions. Okay, I have owned my Tesla Model S uh, 100D. So yes, it does have a dual motor. Yes, it is all wheel drive for close to four years and gone through a, some crazy patches when it comes to winter. Yeah, the short answer is absolutely they are great, but that is besides the point. That is not something you should be focused on. If you have to be focusing on whether or not your car is good uh, in, winter, in winter conditions, your skill level is not up to par. Uh, I'm sorry to say that. I'm not trying to be rude. It's just fact. What I mean by this is every single car that's legally on the road is capable of handling winter conditions. Of course, this is where you come in. You have to understand where you're going to be driving, what conditions you're going to be driving in, and what type of skill you have. That's really, really important. You got to know if it if you need winter tires, put winter tires. <laughs> if you need uh, summer tires, put summer tires, right? I mean, you have to understand what your vehicle needs. So for winter conditions specifically, I don't necessarily recommend winter tires. I do recommend, however, all season tires, specifically because in a lot of locations, depending on where you are, you may not need winter tires. Winter tires are really good up here, up, uh, up north where I live in Canada. But even here, it's not a necessity uh, depending on where I go. But that all being said, you as the driver are 100% capable of driving any car if you have the skill during winter the car doesn't do anything um, the car shouldn't even be a concern for you what should be the concern for you is your skill level your understanding of how to drive how to pay attention to the road how to pay attention to everyone else be able to predict what's going to happen next in other words keep your darn eyes on the mirrors uh, of the road ahead of you and keep your damn distance Really, I hate to say this, but everything comes down to you as the driver. If you do not have the skill or you don't feel like you have the skill to drive during winter time, you know what? Don't drive. I will respect every single person who will not go on the road because they don't feel comfortable, especially in the winter conditions. I will, however, call everybody a bonehead who thinks they're all that and they can go out there and drive no matter what you put in their hands under every condition frankly because every more often than not i should say much more often than not accidents are caused by well negligence stupidity you're going too fast you're not keeping a big enough distance uh, you're not paying attention to all the cars around you listen accidents will happen even if you do all that but you you can negate a huge chunk of that by simply paying attention to the road ahead of you, paying attention to the road behind you, to the sides, making sure that under these conditions, you are on high alert all the time and doing what you're supposed to be doing, and that is driving. Stay the heck away from your phones, regardless of the conditions. Don't worry about what your partner, your friends are telling you in a car. Don't worry about anything else. Don't, don't be thinking about work. Don't be thinking about family. Don't be thinking about anything. Think only about driving. That's your number one concern. What you should be thinking about is getting from point A to point B in the safest possible manner, not just for you, but for everyone else. Listen to me very carefully. There's always going to be boneheads on the road. And unfortunately, that's just a fact. But if you are a skilled enough driver and you know what you're doing and you're looking out for everybody, including the boneheads, you're not going to have a problem. Or at the very least, you're going to have very little chance of having a problem you have to pay attention answering the question whether or not your tesla is safe in the winter time or can teslas handle winter of course they can they wouldn't be legally on a road if they couldn't but you have to follow common sense pay attention use the proper tires understand the conditions and understand your own skills that's all it takes it doesn't take much for you guys to kind of figure out can a car handle winter time Every single car that is legally on the road can handle winter. That's not a problem. It's just weather. It's ice, snow, rain, 
it's not a big deal. Pay attention to the damn road. Um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude. I, that's not my intention on this channel, never has been. But sometimes you do have to kind of say the facts. People ask me this question consistently all the time, not only about Teslas, but about all their other vehicles too. Um, again, your vehicle would not be legally on the road if it couldn't handle all types of different conditions. Um, if you don't think you can drive, if you don't think you can handle the conditions that you're, uh, you're about to uh, encounter, simply don't drive. Take a taxi, take an Uber, public transit, whatever. Ask a friend of yours that is competent or has the skill to do it to, you know, drive you or a family member. I don't know. Nobody will, anybody who looks down at you for not wanting to take risks with your life and everyone else's, um, they're boneheads. You know, if you tell me that you, do, you don't feel comfortable, you don't think you have the skill for it, that's why you don't want to drive, I'll drive you. Uh, I'll respect you a thousand times more for being honest and not putting everybody's life at risk. Thank you so much for watching. That's it. Uh, I, I don't mean to have this as a rambling video and all that stuff, but these kind of questions get to me simply because people are putting all these things on, a, on the cars. When it comes to the safety features of the cars, those should be considered as bonuses. You should never take those into consideration as far as uh, those are the things that are gonna keep you safe. The car is not gonna keep you safe. The safety features are not designed to keep you safe while you're being dumb. They are there as a bonus. They are there as a extra precaution in case, you know, if it helps. But it's not its job to help. It's your job to tell the car what to do. You're the driver. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, everybody out there. Drive safe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then. Um, hit subscribe if you want to, although after this video, you probably won't. So yeah, whoops, so, catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.